Hello, my name is Ray Salazar, and this is Morning Real, a podcast where I review films, which I wish to be to three to four minutes in length, but that never usually happens. There's a documentary called Cypress Hill, Insane in the Brain, directed by Esteban Oriol, who's known for photographing all kinds of artists, whether they be hip-hop, rock, whatever. He's also taking photographs of L.A., man. Like He, he as a photographer, represents not only Latino culture, but Los Angeles culture in general, especially as early as, I would say, late 80s or whatnot till recent. The grind doesn't stop with him, nor does it stop with Cypress Hill. And that's what you learn when you watch this documentary. I was grateful to catch the official screening of it here in Los Angeles. So why not talk about it? You can actually find this documentary exclusively only on Showtime. So if you got Showtime, or let's just say the, the streaming service that Showtime has, that's the only place you can watch it unless you can find somebody who can download it for you. The thing that I learned about this documentary is that if you're doing something that you love, you're just going to keep on doing it no matter what. And not only that, it's always okay to take a break. And it's always okay to not only take a break, but reflect on the things that you've accomplished. The way that this documentary was told, the members of Cypress Hill, which are B-Real, Eric Bobo, Sundog, DJ Muggs, they all worked hard to get where they're at. You know, it's funny that during a time where weed was very frowned upon, and it still kind of is, where I guess being involved in things like that or, or just being involved in like hip-hop music and weed, you're, you're expected to not amount to so much. and these guys all together not only surpass that, they're still doing shit. And I like the way that Esteban told each member's story as to how they grew up, as to how not only how they're involved in the group, he also told the struggles from each member. And I think that's very um, critical when discussing about a group's legacy because a lot of people might say, oh, this, these guys are rich. These guys are perfect. They got everything. But fame also brings distress. It also brings things that not a lot of people will want to talk about. And Esteban was kind of straightforward about how he discussed each member of the band. And not only that, the, the members got their own scream time to talk about their stuff, like how they were brought up or they explained the pressures of recording and touring, recording and touring, you know, years back to back. There's all kinds of documentaries where the group kind of tells it all. And there's some that they don't say too much about for a group like this who have been creating music and giving their fans 100% in those 20 years, I guess you can say you owe it to them, you know, as far as an explanation for certain things. I heard that even though that this documentary was around 87 minutes, there could have been so much more. True that, there could have been a lot more. Sometimes you don't get to dictate exactly what you can put out, but you could only do your best as to what you could put out. Esteban did that job, and he did it right. The members gave what they needed to give. It kind of just shows you that they're not done yet. You know, they still got stuff to do. Esteban, he has a bunch of stuff to do. It's good to see that when you work on something or when you work with the people that you love, it's not work. This is a testament of a passion project. And it looks like it's nowhere near ending. It's cool to see all the archives film you know, high A tapes, videotapes, what have you. You know, Esteban was, it looked like he was filming 24-7. You saw things that you wouldn't see 
on your local news station or on the internet rather you know stuff that that not only did he unearth but decided to go to the to go to the distance by converting that footage for us to see and that's dedication right there and overall like the whole like i guess the whole goal or the whole message is like you know dedication's a bitch but that's what dedication is and i dig it nothing much i can really say more about it you just got to watch it and enjoy it and learn something and the only oh one thing i want to bring up too like these guys are like pretty real about what they say obviously that's really important for a documentary otherwise you would be documenting lies and that's just not how they're about they're true to their fans they're true to their word and i love that my name is ray salazar you can follow me on morning shot films on ig and youtube rate and review this podcast morning reel and this episode i'm gonna be releasing steve jobs pretty soon i'm gonna be recording brokeback mountain with xavier that should be fun and i'm gonna do eight and a half requested by luis sanchez so look out for those thank you